Well, ComplexCon came and went. It was indeed something that happened. It's basically all I can say about it. So let's open things, shall we? Why am I waiting for you to answer? <laughs> Just go! what I feel like sometimes. Wouldn't, wouldn't this be weird if this was just how our arms worked? Like as humans? Like standing still would be considered weird. <sighs> Hello, I'm SB Mitch. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the handle on your screen right now. Underneath that is my website. It's called Ransom Note Sneakers. There are tons of shoes there for sale. There's a little bit of Supreme left. Please buy the Supreme so I don't have to worry about it being on the website anymore because I don't want to carry Supreme anymore. <laughs> Uh, hey pals! Hey look, I did complex con vlog videos. You should guys you guys should check them out. They're pretty fun. I had a good time filming them. They're not the greatest quality, but hey, my keys are gonna make a bunch of noise. They're not the greatest quality, but hey, quality is not my goal here. But you already knew that. Uh, this is what, the 76th one of these? Ah, pff, I don't know. Let's just open a, a bunch of stuff up, okay? <laughs> Hey, five things this week. That's kind of a lot. This first thing comes to us from our friends up in Toronto, Parlor23. Check them out, parlor23.com. You will definitely recognize Parlor23 from the awesome hoodie and awesome shirt that I wear all the time, right there. I've said it like a bunch of times, so I know you're watching, dude. If I'm describing something wrong, please tell me. Like DM me on Instagram and be like, hey dude, that's not what we do. I'm assuming, because I think I read it once, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't really know. It's a barber shop and sneaker consignment shop in one, which is really cool. And when they do have shoes, the prices are actually really good. They're also in Canadian, so it's a little bit, even when you convert it to US dollars, it's still a good deal. But this is a shirt that I got from them. They actually had a restock of a shirt that uh, I was very, very interested in and very excited to get. So uh, let me get the US Border Patrol tape off of here. Whoa. So the nice thing about Parlor 23 is he always throws in extra stuff. This is just one extra thing that I got. Ah, oh, this is awesome. It's a little keychain thing of the Money Cat. I'm actually gonna be doing like filming things with these. Check this out. This is a little tiny Money Cat that you could put on a keychain. This is really, really awesome. And that's not the only thing they put in here extra. Y'all, I ordered a shirt. So he throws in a beanie, a beanie that's yellow, which is awesome. So this is the actual, this is another part of this uh, thing. It's a panda that they use a lot. Holding a, hold, is it, what is that? It's a Jordan 1, it's supposed to be Jordan 1, I think. Check this out, look at the embroidery on that. It's really, really well done. And it's like, this is a really nice, really nice beanie. Or actually, because it's based in Canada, this would be called what, a, a tuck? Something like that? I don't really know. Dang, dude, thank you for the extras. That's really cool. And there's another thing. Oh, it's a patch. It's a Toronto Raptors, but it's a Toronto Red 9 patch. This is an iron-on patch. Check that out. That's really, really awesome. Oh, Red 9 tattoos. That must be the tattoo parlor, too. But anywho, this is the shirt I got. It is a size large in a black. This is a champion t-shirt with the money cat on. It's a really high quality patch. I mean, you can see, like, look at the quality on this patch. It's definitely fuzzy and just really, really well done. The shirt itself, it's a champion, so it fits like true size. It's got the nice champion embroidery on the, on the sleeve. I am so glad I buy from them. Dude, thank you. This is really awesome. I'm floored by this, this is cool. Guys, at Parlor23 on Instagram and Parlor23.com, check them out. Definitely buy some of their merch because it's really, really awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm really flustered and really excited right now. Let's keep going. This next thing up comes to us from Black Sheep Skate Shop. This is a shop based in Charlotte, North Carolina. You guys may know Black Sheep from their collaborations with Nike SB on the uh, Black Hornet. There's the Wolf and Sheep's clothing uh, paid in full. This is not a collaboration. This is just a general release. And the reason I got this is because a lot of GRs that SB has been putting out lately have been ridiculous quality. If you guys haven't seen the quality on the Dusty Peach Corduroy Dunks, it's very good. So this is a Dunk Low Pro. It's a newer release in a size 11. This is definitely for the toe. So the colorway on this release is called Dark Russet Cedar. This is a really nice colorway. Laces attached 
coolest shoe without a bag, which is really cool. But it's got this really, ah, oh, this suede is really buttery too. Let's take a closer look at the shoe. So let's start with the midsole. You got a white midsole with this cedar kind of, I don't even know what to call it. It's almost like a real dark pink almost, but the outsole is that color. Cedar swoosh and the cedar laces. Nike SB branding on a, on a definitely more preferred fat tongue. Really, really low pile suede on the vamp side panel and along the ankle collar in this like light grayish. Got the Zoom Air insole. You can see the new tag. Quality on this is very, very good. I am a big fan of this. This is not a colorway I would normally go after, but if you have good contrast between the Vamp and the Mudguard, it's usually eye-catching to me. And this is just a general release. So this is widely available in many skate shops and probably will be available on Nike very soon. I'm a huge fan of this shoe. Thank you, Black Sheep. This is a, uh, a Dunk Low Pro. The colorway is called Dark Russet Cedar. That is so cool, they're attaching the laces now. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Next up, we got another Dunk Low Pro. This comes to us from New York City, which is a skate shop based in Washington. Gotta give a shout out to Matty. Gave me a heads up on this and I was able to contact them and they sent me an invoice for him. Um, I don't know if this is a general release or if it's gonna be limited or if it's quick strike. I, I really don't know, but this is a pair that I probably would have never gone for. I don't know why. I don't know. It's maybe I'm a maybe I'm a prisoner of the hype. Who knows? But it is another Dunk Low Pro in a size 11. It's got this teal box. Whoa. So the colorway is just white and game royal, but this is called the Porcelain Pack Dunk Low. You can't tell just by looking at it right now, but when we go to look at it in detail, you'll see why it's called that. So you can see that this entire upper is covered in this like cracked porcelain looking paint. White leather swoosh. The entire upper is leather, obviously. Game Royal secondary laces, first of all, and the Game Royal outsole on a white midsole. Now, the nice thing about this upper, this is a strip away upper. It's completely game royal underneath this white paint. Normally, I don't like all white shoes. I think the fact that I'm just so into the idea of having strip away paint, especially on a dunk low, dunk highs or like an AJ1 high, totally fine. I don't know if they've ever done a dunk low that has strip away paint, but regardless, this is a really cool, really cool shoe, really nicely done. The quality feels really good. Again, with the Zoom Air insole, fat tongue, laces attached. This is a really, really well executed shoe. Dang. Y'all, I am a hypocrite because I'm like, Ugh, oh, my head shoes are stupid. I really like these. Maddie, thank you for the heads up on these. This is a Dunk Low Pro. It's called the Porcelain Pack. This next thing, it's just on the bottom. I don't know why I didn't do it at the beginning. This next thing comes to us from, guess what? The box with the swoosh with the inconspicuous packaging. <laughs> just kidding. But there was a early release. This pair doesn't release uh, widely until August 1st, I want to say. So it is a little bit early. I got it last Tuesday. I could have tried to be cool and be like, look what I got way early, but I really didn't feel like it. So this is in a size 11. It is a Nike Air Jordan 4. This is a retro of a shoe that has not come out in 15 years. This is a Nike Air Jordan 4 in a cool gray colorway. The last time they retroed this was 2004. There are some subtle differences from the 2004 release. Let's take a look. So typical for a Jordan 4, we've got a white midsole with some black outsole that comes up on the side panel. So the entire upper is this really low pile gray suede all throughout. Got translucent black aglets, gray cages, black outsole with hints of yellow. You do get a little bit of yellow. You can see flight is written in that yellow, that yellow color underneath the Jumpman tag on the tongue as well as the Air Jordan patch on the inside of the tongue. Doesn't look like there's many differences between this and the 2004. The shade of gray looks to be a little bit lighter on this one, but considering that most cool gray uh, colorways have shades of orange in them, it's nice to see this with a little bit of yellow. So I think this is a really well done retro. If you want to get a pair of these when they come out, I don't think you'll have any problem getting them. I think this will be a wide release. And I think just cause it's not really a quote unquote OG colorway, it'll probably be widely available. So I think it's a pretty, pretty well done retro. So there you go, a cool gray Air Jordan 4. His last thing comes to us from an extremely legitimate dude. You can follow him on Twitter. His handle is at dblockdunks. His name's Derek, really cool dude. And he had a price on a shoe that was just really, really good and I didn't want to pass it up. Look at this. This awesome looking packing material. Nicely done, Derek. As you probably may have guessed from recent videos, I've been buying up a bunch of Air Jordan 1s. I think it's good to stock up for the fall. <laughs> this is in a size 12. This is a release from last year. It's an Air Jordan 1. 
color blocks like the shattered backboards, but this is the pine green colorway. You can see that it's got the green, pine green vamp with the white side panel, green ankle collar, black swoosh, black mud guard, black aglets. This came out with the court purples, really, really nice quality. Now this is a worn pair, barely worn, very good condition, just a little bit of creasing on the toe box. Um, wow, I'm really happy with these, really, really happy. There is no heel drag whatsoever, no star loss. He gave me these for basically retail. I mean, it was retail, it was retail. I didn't have to pay tax, I didn't have to pay tax. It's crazy. Definitely give D Block Dunks a follow on Twitter, at D Block Dunks. Thank you, this is really awesome. I'm really pleased with this. Comes with the secondary laces too. Dang, dang Derek, nice job. And that's everything I got this week. I am extremely pumped on those dunk lows, extremely pumped about everything in this video. Parlor 23, thank you so much. D Block Dunks, thank you so much. Maddie, thank you for the heads up on those, uh, those dunk lows, very, very, cool uh, I have two beater boxes right over there those need to be opened mm. that's pretty much all the video ideas I have right now I kind of burnt my brain out this weekend doing vlogging for complex con but now that I know how to do vlogging sort of good <laughs> I'm gonna be doing it more so hey give me ideas if you have any thank you for watching I appreciate it I'll probably be back tomorrow with the beater box um, I have a 725 and a 650. We'll probably do the 725 tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Till then, take care of each other. Remember to treat people the way you want to be treated. And I will see you soon. Toodly-doo.